Um, one of the people who is commenting on it on Truth Social is the guy who is the head of, yeah. you know, he wrote the art of the right. deal and he's not happy with the deal. And here's what he has to say. He says, has anybody noticed that Hamas has returned people from other countries, but so far has not returned one American hostage? I mean, I think a lot of people believe we probably would have American hostages out. And maybe this whole thing wouldn't have even happened had Donald Trump been in office. First of all, little fact check, uh, he didn't write the art of the deal. His name's on the cover of the art of the deal, but he didn't write it. We've known that for literally decades. A second and arguably more important, what in the hell are you talking about? If only Donald Trump were in office, we would have had American hostages released. We've had American hostages released. In the immediate aftermath of what you just saw there from Fox and Friends, another hostage was released, notably without Donald Trump having to become president. Isn't that weird? But just to wind it back a little bit, two American hostages, Judith Renan and her daughter Natalie were released by Hamas back in October. So, you know, we can't always respond to breaking news immediately, but I have a feeling Fox and Friends could have known about the developments of October. And on Sunday, Hamas went on to release 17 more hostages, including four-year-old Abigail Adan, an American Israeli dual citizen as well. Now, there were a number of hostages released over the last few days. We're gonna give you all of those updates. And and I know that it's stupid to focus on this, JR, who's, who's with me on the show. But like the need to make everything a thing about Donald Trump. If only Donald Trump were there, we'd have the situation that we already have that we're pretending we don't have. And you know there's no retraction coming. There's no like like plaudits that are gonna come to Joe Biden for the limited American role in these hostage negotiations. The good news remains, but their need to constantly fake that it isn't happening is just so annoying. Did you know anyway. that uh, nothing would have happened if Donald Trump was in office? Uh, except a bunch of things happened when Donald Trump was in office. But <laughs> if in case Donald Trump was in office when COVID hit, it'd be like COVID would never hit if Donald Trump was in office, even though it did. Oh, uh, You can <laughs> even say that this conflict would not have happened if Donald Trump was in office. Ukraine would not have happened if Donald Trump was in office. Anything that happens bad in the world, you can claim it just wouldn't have happened if Donald Trump was in office with absolutely no reason for saying so, just say it because his presence is peace. Sound a little bit like a cult to you? Maybe like it's yeah. a religion, like they're worshiping a guy that his presence can change the effects of the world and things that are around us. That's their belief system, no matter what. It doesn't matter what you're talking about. Donald Trump would have fixed it. He said that mm -hmm. in his speech, I alone can fix it. And they believed it ever since. And as many people laughed at it and went, what is he talking about? This sounds like a dictator. That's exactly what he's talking like. And he wants people like this woman to believe this, spread that word and continue to push the same narrative. If I'm there, none of it would have happened. Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, uh, it doesn't make sense if you think about it. But uh, dear viewers, have you considered not thinking about it or thinking about anything? Don't think, we'll just tell you some stuff. Some of it might be true, some of it might not be. That's really a much more comfy way to live, don't you think? Uh, just ignore the things that he didn't fix when he was president. Ignore it going forward if he gets back into office. And uh, don't acknowledge the things that, that are getting better. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna set aside Fox and Friends, they're morons. Here is the update. Uh, and it's developing fast because there have been uh, now three rounds of hostages uh, being released, which is good news. It's expected that throughout the course of uh, Monday today when we're filming this, 11 more hostages are expected to be released. That's good news. How many hostages are still being held by Hamas? You, you get different numbers from different sources. It is somewhere between 170 and 185 are still being held. But the breaking news right before we were going live was that Leadership of Israel and Hamas have agreed to extend the temporary truce that they've had for an additional two days. And so the, the, the agreement prior to this had been that extensions of the truce were gonna be accompanied with more hostages being transferred. So you know, if they're sticking to that, and I assume that they would be, that means more, 10, 20, perhaps more hostages being transferred over the next couple of days. And that at the end of the at the end of the day is the most important thing that the hostages are being returned, that prisoners, we can get into the individual charges and everything on the Palestinian side are being returned. I really question whether many of the women and children that are being held should be, but they are being transferred as well. And so that is good news. There's a lot of attempts to spin it, 
But you know, families are being made whole, and uh, while that doesn't erase all the trauma, that is the important thing, at least from my point of view. Jr., what do you think? Yeah, there's um, and you know, there, we see the hierarchy of of you know the way that we like to see folks released in any kind of conflict. If anyone that's uh, taken captured or missing overseas, that's an American. We know that. Um, so also, I guess back a little bit on the complaints about you know the, how many Americans have been released. Yo, we're talking about folks, people. So if there's folks that are in that are prisoners, that are held hostages, that are uh, that are potentially being tortured, and and then families are, are are not unable to really go on each day as they think about their family members, and then you hear someone just say, "But are they American? Because if they're not American, I really don't care." How yeah. heartless! Again, how heartless! How much do you actually care about the people that have been held hostage since October seventh? And then once folks are then being released, you start scanning and checking whether or not what their citizenship is and whether or not that's good enough. It just keeps going no matter what. The main thing we we continue to illustrate in our humanity is that it's all hierarchical. And it's a matter of whether or not it's close enough to us to be worth something. And if it's further and further from what we think is worthy, the less and less we think that life yeah. is worth anything. By the way, I'm very glad that you mentioned that because yeah, I just... I allowed myself to be sucked into the ridiculous way that part of the spin that I was talking about is that they have to have that hierarchy. Um, and look, part of it is that they honestly do value certain lives more than others. That's 100% true. But it's also another way to spin it where, oh, yeah, no, lots of hostages being transferred, but not the right hostages are being transferred, except that they are. You're lying about that. And what about when all of the American hostages are transferred? Well, then I guess there's no way for Biden to do anything good because <laughs> the real hostages can't be transferred anymore. And by the way, it, it is, again, I'm so glad that you pointed out the hierarchy because Fox has been using this opportunity for the past month or two to pretend that they are not part of a wildly anti-Semitic political movement. But as Jared's pointing out, they really don't seem to care about the Israeli hostages all that much. Suddenly, it's only the American ones that count. And so weird how they snuck that in. But anyway, um, I see some people saying that they think that the extension was for longer. I'm just going based off of what I saw coming out of the the Qatari me, me, uh, uh, mediators to the to the deal. Supposedly, it's two more days. We'll see. It's possible. It's developing. A lot is happening today. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.